Welcome to the US Master video tutorial Georeferencing Part 3 Orientation. In the previous video tutorials we were performing the tie point extraction and the ground control point measurement. You can check here on the left side in the points tab that the control points have been measured, they have a prediction and they have links. The links means that we have measured this control point 2008 for example in 15 different images or in our case for trottoir we see the prediction means the image exists in 8 images but it was only measured in 7. The uh, reason for this is for example here in this image the tree does not allow us to see the control point and therefore we were not able to measure it. Concerning the tie point distribution we will uh, show in the next video about analysis how the tie points need to be distributed. Uh, in our case here we assume now that the tie points are well distributed, they are existing uh, in every part of the image and also the strips are well connected and then we can here run the orientation. You can find the orientation in the US tab here on the right side and as you see here in the sequential order we can here hit the orientation and the orientation parameter dialog opens up. US projects are using non-photogrammetric cameras and therefore we assume that for all the projects you will always need a camera calibration. We offer a default strategy which can be used for projects without post-processed GNSS and IMU data. The camera calibration will take care automatically for the focal length, for the principal point and for the distortions of the camera. In case you use high precision GNSS data and or IMU data then you would need to create a new strategy or you can also if you always have the high precision one just overwrite your current strategy and select that you want to use GNSS data. US Master offers now an online help which is called the what's this function. So you can hit the question mark here and move it over a parameter and then click it and see how this parameter has an influence and also uh, what uh, recommendations to be used for this parameter. In case you have high precision GNSS we recommend to have at least one ground control point to check the results of your processing from the bundle block adjustment. Additionally also this will help you to calculate the focal length very accurate. In our case here we don't have uh, GNSS data so we will stick with the default settings and run the orientation here with the default strategy settings. So let's start the process by hitting the start button and as I have changed here a few parameters back and forth it asks me if I want to change, uh, save the changes, I say yes and then it will run now with these settings my process. I will stop here the video until the process is finished. Here we go, let's take a look at the result. We can see here in the infos tab the processes that were done. There was a blunder detection running which allows to eliminate measurements, single measurements uh, from tie points and control points and GNSS data if I would have a high precision GNSS data. And after the blunder detection is done we run the error triangulation, the bundle block adjustment and uh, adjust for each single image the orientation and um, we see here when a project output is done that uh, this was fully completed. We also see here two green bars. Uh, in case um, there ha have been problems by setting up the project wrong or in the processing we would see in the errors here warnings, uh, sorry errors which uh, process failed 
and also warnings would inform us if there are missing informations like uh, images are not online or missing orientation values or measurements for control points. Additionally, we can also take a look at uh, the report, which can be created, and then when we want to review the report, then uh, we see the PDF here uh, showing us the results. But this will be part of our next video tutorial. Additionally, also, we want to take a look here at our temporary folder. The temporary folder can be defined in the options, preferences, in the workspace and we see here that this is our folder where the temporary files are stored and if you want to look at all the uh, files that were generated during this process you can navigate to this, um, to this folder and check the data or if you face problems with your processing, you can zip the files that are inside this folder and send it to our support group and ask for help. Uh, thank you for watching this video tutorial about the orientation in US Master and see you soon. Goodbye.